The President's stimulus budget included some environmental restoration programs. We very quickly, in the span of about three weeks, pulled together a $4 million proposal. About a month later, we got some very happy news. There were only 50 that were funded, four in the state of Florida, and ours was one of them. Once the project got rolling, we had over 100 people employed and lasted for several months. And at the end of the day, we had constructed over 25 acres of oyster habitat in the St. Lucie River and seven acres down in the Loxahatchee. The project did not only consist of this rather large-scale oyster restoration, but we also had hundreds of volunteers involved in shoreline restoration. The shoreline restoration not only provides additional oyster habitat, but also stabilizes the shoreline, keeping additional sediments from filling in the river. The project basically consists of reconstructing oyster beds in the river that have been lost over the years due to uh, pollution, discharges from Lake Okeechobee, and freshwater influx. And to offset that and improve water quality, uh, the county's embarked on the oyster reef restoration. The reason why we are restoring oysters is historically uh, we've lost over 80% of our oyster reefs here in the St. Lucie River, making oyster reefs one of our most imperiled marine habitats. Oysters are important because they act as filters of our estuaries. So as they filter feed, they remove a lot of nutrients and pollutants out of the water. Helping the estuary to recover and to help the diversity by restoring a keystone species to the local ecosystem is one of the most important pieces of work that we can do. The, the biofiltration that these oysters are providing and the habitat that these oysters are creating for, for the lagoon is, is vital. And you know, whenever a human can help um, restore a circumstance that they have degraded, then I think this is a, this is a worthwhile cause. Over the past hundred years or, or so in Florida, we've dramatically altered the ecosystems. And so waters that used to flow into river systems and estuaries has, has changed dramatically due to channelization and flood control efforts. And on the other end of the spectrum, inlets are managed uh, to support navigation and to provide uh, you know, opportunities for recreation and that type of thing. So inlets that used to let perhaps far less water move through a, through a system now are much larger to support navigation and therefore allow much greater volumes of salt water to move in and out through water, to, through systems. We completed construction on the oyster reefs in uh, around May of 2011 and, uh, and then proceeded with uh, monitoring of the oyster reefs. So the monitoring programs covered uh, from the baseline of when the, the original colch material was placed and then monitored the oyster spat, which is juvenile oyster recruitment onto the colch over this past two year period. The whole process of oyster restoration starts with this. We collect oyster shell from local restaurants and once that shell is dry, we take that shell put them into mesh bags with the aid of, of many volunteers, uh, many hours of volunteer labor go into making these bags of shell. And at each deployment, we, we are deploying about 500 bags. And in this effort, we employ hundreds of volunteers to help us construct these reefs in shallow water. Volunteers at, a, at an oyster restoration project span the gamut. Uh, they're men, women, students, scientists, professional people that are trying to do something positive for their environment. Um, most importantly, they're all doing something together to, to help the circumstances in a, in a beautiful setting like the Indian Lagoon. We had some concern that we were seeing um, some dead oysters. So we wanted to know if this is natural. So we went to a couple natural uh, oyster bars and counted them and measured them. Now we know that the artificial bars are now coming into more of a natural environment. And we have been monitoring several of these reefs to determine 
how many oysters are colonizing the reefs, what kind of species are starting to live on those reefs that are, that are typically associated with oyster reefs. And, and that way we can help evaluate the success of this restoration. To get the river to where all the fish are happily swimming and the porpoises are rolling and the mullet, mullet are jumping and old Mr. Osprey and Mr. Eagle, they're coming back here. That's what we want.